Hi, I'm George Jarris, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Heroes and Rogues Out for Gold. Heroes and Rogues Out for Gold is a micro action selection and set collection game with a bit of deduction thrown in for good measure. The game consists of only 18 cards and a set of rules. It's for two to four players, and one round takes about 10 to 15 minutes. It can be played for one round or several, and then the score is tallied. In this game, two to four players compete to create a team of adventurers by choosing actions from character cards that are available on the table. Selecting a character from your face-up choices in the center of the table is done by exchanging one card from your hand with one on the table. So the action of the character that was selected is taken and the character card from your hand is placed face down on the table. In this case, I chose the Orc Thief, which lets me swap one character from my hand with a character from an opponent's hand. So I might swap the character that I just picked up with a character from my opponent's hand. The object is to build a team of character cards with the same elemental affinity, which is the color. And we have air and fire, and we have water and earth, and we have dark, and we have light. Those are the different elemental affinities. Or a group that is the same race, which is the symbol or suit. And we have halflings, we have humans, we have gnomes, we have orcs, uh, we also have elves and uh, dwarves in, in the mix. So there's six different elemental affinities, and six different races, and you're trying to create sets that, that combine either same elements or same races. So Heroes and Rogues Out for Gold consists of only 18 cards. The rules are pretty simple to learn, yet they provide a depth of strategy because players are playing not only the game, but they're playing against each other as well. With two players, each hand is a quick game of trying to outmaneuver your opponent. With three or four players, the game becomes a little bit more strategic as players decide not only how to block opponents and which actions to take, but when to actually score their points and, and end the round. There are a couple of interesting features on the cards. Uh, as I showed earlier, we've got the suits, which represent the races. We've got the colors, which represent the elemental affinities. And then there are also classes for the different characters. Things like merchants, mages, healers, uh, thieves, scouts, and those correspond to the different actions that can be taken on the cards. The backs of the cards are also interesting. They give you a clue as to what is possibly on the front of the card. It shows one of, or it shows three of the six suits and three of the six colors. And by looking at that, you can work to determine what cards might be in your opponent's hands or the face down cards on, on the table. These will get flipped over and, and recycled as the game goes on, so some will be face up, some will be face down. In the cards in your uh, opponent's hands, you'll know one of the possible colors and one of the possible suits based on the backs of the cards. So there's a lot of, of depth going on in the game, a lot of back and forth, uh, trying to outmaneuver um, your, your opponents. Once you do get a set, a proper set, different cards are worth different amounts of points. So different sets are worth uh, different amounts of points based on if there are sets of the same race or based if there are sets of the same elemental affinity. So there's a lot of back and forth. You might decide to score your points early uh, and get get a low scoring points or make the game go a little bit longer and try and get a higher set of higher scoring points um, and go for more points. So there's a lot, lot of interplay between the characters and the cards on the board. So that is Heroes and Rogues Out for Gold. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.